Good afternoon, everyone. The Calbuco volcano in Chile erupts ferociously and unexpectedly. Solar cycle 24 has definitely peaked on the international sunspot number. Winter ending months late across the United States in so many places. And then Maine breaks all of these temperature records back to 1893. Check out these ice flows damaging infrastructure through Maine, backing up the rivers. And as you could easily predict, the planting season is delayed. Iowa delayed in corn, cotton delayed, sorghum delayed in planting. These images are from the Calbuca volcano in Chile. Look at the awesome raw power of this major, major eruption. It was totally unexpected. It had just been lying dormant and then suddenly explosion. And we get these mile high ash clouds flying in. That is an enormous amount of debris. This is a satellite view of the eruption that's ongoing. This cloud should continue to extend hundreds and hundreds of miles from the origination point of the volcano. Another look from NASA's Terra satellite at the plume coming off of the volcano. This is a before and after picture. Also, the sunspot count is in and we have definitely peaked on solar cycle 24. John Casey at the space and Science Research Corporation put out a press release. He had forecast 74 sunspots per average. NASA was at 145. Turns out that John Casey was right on the money at 74. He's also predicting a major cooling event of 2 to 3 to 4 degrees Celsius, which has already begun. This is in a temperature anomaly map into Canada in North America, as you can see, it's incredibly cold, far colder than usual. Anywhere you see color on this map is snow, not precipitation, it's snow. This is the approximate depth of snow almost in May. If we just take a look at the daily snowfall totals on the 20th of April, the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, the snow just keeps on coming. When will the winter end? These are the average dates of measurable snow, the last measurable snow. I included the little blue boxes and circles so you could see where the snow is still falling. This winter is months and months longer than normal. Incredible in Maine right now. All of these temperature records were broken, most of them back to the 1860s, 70s, 80s, and 1890s. For example, in Black River, the old record was minus 4 Fahrenheit. This new record is minus 20. That is a new 16 degree difference in the temperature records. It is definitely getting colder. Also, Caribou, Maine, I pulled this one off the National Weather Service. If you're going to do some of your own research into snow cover, I've included a few links here for the National Snow Analysis off NOAA website. Something interesting, a quadruple rainbow. Not, you don't see that every day. This is in New York. Staying in the northeast United States, massive ice flows like there were in Ohio as well. A couple of weeks ago, that toppled all of those gravestones from the Civil War Cemetery. Here we go, another gigantic ice jam flowing onto the roads, blocking traffic. Where is this happening? This is in Maine, northeast United States. A quick look at the St. John's River here of where this is occurring. A couple images so you can see the depth and the flow of this amazing picture, the reflection on the airplane wing here. When we get in, this is the ice coming onto the roads, overflowing the riverbanks. Heavy infrastructure damage, at least three bridges are damaged from these ice flows currently. Now I had to start laughing out loud. This climate fail of all climate fails, I will bring to your attention. This whole PDF is like eight pages long, and they are talking about how this area encircled in red will no longer have snow. This is the snowiest part where we're getting back into these 200-year snow records. And then in the same PDF, they show this guy on the grass trying to ski. There has been more snow this year than there has been in 200 years in that area around Boston, Maine, and the entire northeast United States, including Vermont and New Hampshire. Climate fail and I'll leave the link to the PDF so you can look through and just see the silliness that they keep putting out. We are delaying and wasting time getting ready for this cold event that is upon us. It is not coming. It is here and we are wasting time. 
And with a little foresight, knowing that we've had excess cold and excess snow throughout the entire season, there's still snow across a lot of the growing areas where we plant crops. A quick look through Google, I just put in delayed planting season 2015. You can name your crop because they're all delayed right now. Just name one. It'll come up. This is from AgWeb. Another late start to planting. Oh, that means it happened last year too. It's becoming the norm. Our food production is being affected right now now rain delays crop planting Iowa corn planting delayed if we jump over and put a little search for cotton we find also that cotton wet conditions delay planting all through Texas southeast United States sorghum you wouldn't think of sorghum what is that crop for it's mainly for animal food and it is used for human consumption by the way, sorghum and millet are two incredibly healthy grains to eat. It has a lot of micronutrients included in there and amaranth as well. These are really healthy crops for your body. And I will bring you back to this chart that I created with the overlay and collapse of Chinese dynasties matched against ice core data temperature reconstruction. The reason those Chinese dynasties collapsed is because of lack of food production. Hungry people are insane crazy people they don't care if they're facing the barrel of a gun they are hungry they do crazy things they will kill for food and when you start to see these delays in the planting like we're experiencing in the spring when the early snows come again this year and wipe out part of our crops we're gonna get into this kind of feedback loop where we're gonna have late spring plantings and get wiped out early in the autumn this is gonna delay this growing season Look for an upward push on prices for almost everything agricultural. I know there's a glut right now. Commodities prices have crashed out. I think this is the bottom of the curve on this one. I think it's upward from here on out. This year is our last year of quality, reliable food production on this planet. Next year is hit or miss. The following years in 2018 and 19, you will very well know what's happening and there will be panic and food prices will skyrocket and there will be riots for food in the streets, western countries included. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.